It's Spooktober! I love Halloween! The creepy ornaments, the constant reminder of the inescapability of death, the parties to which I never get invited after that small incident with the blood crazed Roomba, the flamethrower pumpkins! Hey! That spoiler! Right. Sorry. But I think we can all agree that the best part of the spooky night of Halloween is that it's the only night of the year when you can run downtown and legally commit murders and atrocities on innocent citizens. What do you mean that's not how it works? Of course it is! Why do you hate having fun? As I was saying before I got distracted, one of my favorite hobbies is terrorizing children and chasing them down with incendiary weapons. However, this year I want to test a new strategy to bully trick-or-treaters. Running after teenagers with fuel tanks on your back is pretty tiring, so I want to exploit the natural curiosity and recklessness of human younglings. I will lure them in, make them feel safe, and then I will strike! Let me show you my latest toy, the perfect gift for your arsonist husband, the party trick that will light your night on fire. Literally. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the radio-controlled all-terrain fire-breathing jack-o'-lantern Mark I. The name is still a work in progress. There's quite a lot going on with this contraption, so I will now leave the stage to its designer, who will explain its functionality in detail. Dr. Fusillo, up to you. Oh. Ah. 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 Yes! Invention! Halloween! Pumpkin! That breathes! Fire! Death! <laughs> uh, yes, they already know that. You're supposed to explain the mechanism and the electronics. Electronics! <laughs> Car goes forward. Kid want candies. Remote. Burn the light! <laughs> uh, the machine! You have to show them the machine! Antonino! Take him away! <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Fusillo is a bit of an oddball, but his invention is pretty neat. The basic idea is to have a nozzle that shoots flammable liquid over a candle to make a cool looking fireball. Since we are villains on a budget, we simply repurposed an old spray bottle that is driven by a servo motor. The brain of the machine is made with the usual Arduino board that powered all my robots so far. There's not much going on here except for this little infrared receiver, which allows me to operate the servo with a common remote. Could we make this a lot more compact? Yes. Will I do it? No. I'm lazy. Everything is then screwed together and attached to a mobile base stolen from an RC car that also holds the battery pack. <sighs> Who is back? Uh, the, the doctor. <laughs> Did he take his medication, at least? Yes, double dose. Well then, go ahead. This looks like toy, not menacing. No! We want kids to get close, to grab the candies. They don't, we stop them! Rusty knife. <sighs> Operator 1 drives the car, approaches the victims, gives them control, lets them play. Earth the trust. Operator 2 watches hidden in the bush. And when they look into the pumpkin, set them ablaze! <laughs> Enough! Enough! Time to play! First of all, you have to fill this small reservoir with a syringe. Why so small, you may ask? Well, there's a good 60% chance this will catch on fire. So, this is called damage control. Then you switch on the battery pack and the wheels and you are ready to go! I know what you're thinking, is this legal? Yes! Maybe? <laughs> Suffice to say, I will dismantle it at the end of the shooting. <laughs> Greetings, I am a member of Lord Blood's legal team and I hate my job. I'm here to state that what you're watching in this here video is made exclusively for entertainment purposes and that under no circumstance you should attempt to replicate this at home, as it can lead to serious damage, injury, mutilation, death or worse, angry parents. Oh, shut up! 
If a kid is smart enough to build a radio-controlled flamethrower, I'm pretty sure he's smart enough to know that fire is dangerous. That said, don't be stupid, let's go outside! That was underwhelming. Well, I have good news and bad news. Good news is I don't have to dismantle this. Bad news is I just fried the servo motor. Whoops. Okay, it was not the servo but the battery, so I changed it and now this better work because it's getting late and I'm sleepy. And now the lighter is empty. Fire! Third time's the charm. Went back home, took a new lighter, Please work. Che succede adesso? Niente succede adesso. l'alcol non pete più fuoco I have no idea what's happening this is the first video first video where I do rigorous testing of my machine before turning on the camera and everything worked great until I tried to film it then everything worked less than great why is my life like this? <laughs> ah, this was fun! You liked? Share! Subscribe! Follow! For more! And as always, see you next time! Take care! I just came home and I am super tired, but I wanted to try the machine once more to, you know, understand what the problem was. And I kid you not, it worked flawlessly. <sighs> See you next time.